Oh, did we kill it? Uh, that's not really what I thought was going to happen. Hi guys, my name is Jessa Muffin, and welcome back to the Journey Down. I know that we had a rat. I don't know, let's see if we can get past the dog. Do we have anything right now? Can I actually put this hook in? That won't help. No. Maybe the hook has something to do with the buoy out here. Let's see, where was it? Here. Okay, so maybe not the hook, but the net. Maybe this net that has something. Clear, what? Totally. All right, so we have a wrench. Um, <laughs> not certain what we need to do. Oh, I've been itching to play the game again. I'm glad that you guys liked it so far. I thought it was kind of a unique game. We're point and click, we're point and click. Um, I'm not... Okay. Hmm. Alright, we can't... Do anything Me and Kito got this ladder. huge muddy ugly once when we were kids. Boy, we were proud. That is one big juicy muddy ugly. I haven't heard of anybody pulling up a bigger one than this. <laughs> Besides Matoki, of course. I've but never fished. Really he spends all his time fishing. Oh. Maybe there's something it's in the empty. cupboard. Nope. Nah, I already got the cheese. Mm. Trust me, it was the only thing worth picking from the fridge. Alright, I know that this is something. This looks like a propeller. But how do we get it? Oh, okay. Look, there's a rat here. A float. Maybe we need that. Go over it's my talkies fish and float. If only I can get that pesky rat to grab onto it. It would scare my turkey's pants off. Oh. <laughs> no, we... I thought we need that for something. It says, honk for service. Recently, we haven't been getting a lot of honks, though. Mm. Oil tap. Pointless. Yet satisfying. <laughs> satisfying. I got no chance catching him. He's way too fast for me. What about the cheese? Don't mess with the cheese, man. Like, what if we put the cheese over here? No, sir. We gotta put the cheese on the float? <laughs> if this works, it'll scare the bananas out of my toki. He hates rats. What? Let's see if the rat catches the bait. Oh! It actually worked! <laughs> I can't wait to see Matoki's reaction when okay. he reels in a big juicy rat! Okay, we have the rat! We have the rat! Okay, um... I this heard this is the best fishing spot in the bay. No, let's let's get the rat. <laughs> this is going to scare my toki like crazy when he reels it in. Oh. No, I, I needed it. <laughs> For the mud no yugger guy. Needed, man. So I can't get the rat. Okay. Actually, that wasn't super helpful. <sighs> what a beauty! I wonder if we'll ever get her flying. Um, yeah, we will at some point. That's my farm of cacti. Cacti rule. Cacti rule. What's this hole? Hmm, looks like some slightly vital pieces missing here. That would be the yolk. What sort of pilot are you anyways? Yes, <laughs> I knew that. Just checking. Wow. 
She really These okay. two chairs used to be very comfy once upon a time, until the rodents ate all the juicy padding. Hmm. I better not poke at these buttons. I don't even remember what half of them do. I feel like we're missing stuff. Hey, lady! Please, you can call me Lena. How come you in such a hurry, lady? Well, I just talked to my professor over at the university. And let's just say he's made some enemies in the academic world recently that have made us a bit... nervous. She... Has enemies? That's not good. <laughs> enemies? What kind of a professor is he? You haven't heard of Professor Steeplegenger Moorhead? Let me enlighten you. When I first started working for him, I was just as convinced as anyone else that he had a screw loose. What? He's nuts? Not exactly. You see, Moorhead was once a highly recognized scientist. A real big name in geology. But ever since he started lecturing about conspiracies and cover-ups, he completely lost all the credibility he had built up over the years. The only reason the university keeps him on the payroll is because there would be an outrage in the educated world if he was given the boot. Whether he's nuts or not, he deserves the position. Anyhow, having worked with him for a while, I started realizing that whether he was crazy or not, much of the research he set me on came up blank. That's blank. odd. Why? Not sure. I started getting really suspicious. Someone had been erasing their tracks very thoroughly. Whole records have disappeared from their libraries. Old newspaper prints have been removed. Even old family photo albums I've looked up have been obviously edited and smeared. And no one except Moorhead is questioning this. The only lead I've found so far that hasn't been removed is this book of yours. I need to hide and make sense of it before this too is erased. That is why we are in a hurry to get the airplane going. Sounds like she's doing some fishy illegal stuff. Maybe Moorhead was uh, big into gambling or something. <laughs> How did you know to search for the book here? How did you know to search for the book here? The professor received a letter about the book and he sent me to go look it up. I just figured it was sent by whoever lived here. So who's covering everything up? Well, many signs point toward Armando Electric. And the more I'm looking into it, it seems like the government is in on it as well. Whoa. The government? Conspiracy. Sure. Do you realize how many new laws have come into existence the last couple of years regarding the Underland? Obviously, someone wants to keep the people in the dark regarding what is really going on down there. What do you think they're hiding, dead bodies? What do you think they're hiding? I'm not sure. You remember how when our generation were kids, we used to hear stories about the amazing Underland? Sure. My dad used to read us stories about it all the time. Same here. Now compare that to what it's like now. Ever since the Power Co. started their operations in the Underland, the stories have all twisted. Now all we hear about the Underland is how dangerous it is. And how incredibly illegal it is to so much as glance over the edge. Well, it probably is dangerous. You do realize those were just children's tales, right? Probably just written to protect us from the scariest stuff. Believe what you wish. What is fact and what is fiction isn't really relevant since both of them are being erased. Either way you look at it, something very fishy is going on, and I'm sure this book will shed some light on things. Huh. Okay. What about the professor? Tell me about the professor. Professor Moorhead? Sure, he's a real nutcase according to most people. <laughs> but I've started believing in his crazy conspiracy theories. Or maybe not so much believe in them as at least realize that there's something in them worth looking up. I'm his assistant at the Agibo University in St. Armando, by the way, if I didn't make that clear. No, you didn't. We had no idea who you were. All right, all right. I'll go hunt for parts. See you later, lady. Happy hunting. Give, give me stuff. <laughs> what do we need to do? Oh, maybe we can sit at the bar stool. Fat chance, Bona fool. Them seats are for paying customers only. Ah, you cruel woman. Hola, Makina. What's up, Bona? What brings you to my fine kitchen? Bye. 
I'm here for sweet, sweet company, lady. I'm here for the sweet company. <laughs> sure, Buona. If you say so. Dog won't let me in. Come on. But silly Rufus won't let me in. Rufus ain't silly. And if he don't let you in, you don't belong here. Excuse That's just me. Cold. That is cold. Free food, Free please. Food, please. <laughs> in your sweet Buoni's dreams, Buona. Buona wants food. Give me food. How's the stew tonight? Too expensive for you, that's how <gasps> it is. Oh, that burns, lady. What a jerk. Fine, fine. Talk to you later, Makina. You take care of yourself, Buona. Hey, can I have that fishing pole or this bucket? Hey, Matoki, <laughs> can I grab one of your mud jugglers? Oh, sorry, Buona. I'd love to share, but me and McKenna have this deal, you know. Okay. If she catches me handing out her jugglers for free, there's going to be hell to pay. You're going to have to get your own. Hmm. There's nothing else over here? Maybe we got to talk to the sailors again. Hey, sailors. Hey, kid. Oh, we can get the password for the deckhand ship. I'm the ship. No deckhand on the ship, but I forgot the password. Sorry, kid. I ain't falling for that one. You're no sailor. Oh. You ain't got the right clothes. Look at us. Proper sailor's clothes on us. Where are we gonna get clothes? Hey, man, check your hook. Hey, I think you're right. I've got something on the line. Oh, it's the rat! <laughs> oh, no, it's a rat. Oh, Buana, could you please unratify my pole for me? I have a slight problem with rats. Sure, man, no problem. I'll get it back to you nice and pest free. Oh, thank you. We got the fishing pole. <laughs> Finally, the pole is mine. Uh, All mine. Okay. Oops. Progress. The rat ran off with the hook. Killing me, Smalls. Okay, let's go get the buoy. For what? I'm not really certain. But we'll have a buoy. Hey, that might actually work. Let's give it a shot. That was easy. Let's see what this thing is connected to. Oh, I caught me a crab. A crab? Maybe we can use it for the pelican. I'm not putting a live crab in my pockets. I need something to carry it in. Why not? Guybrush Threepwood would do it. In you go, little happy claws. The cage is empty, man. All I right. already took the crab. I guess we don't need the cage. All right, let's give the crab to the pelican. Although the pelican probably wants the fish, not the crab. That won't help. All right, let's see. Won't work, man. Then maybe it's the woman cooking the soup that wants the crab. It's gonna be something weird and obscure, right? I think I'll keep it. Rufus? Hey, Rufus. I mean, crabs have pincers. I, you a friend. I bet you'll get along nicely with his big sharp pincers. Ah, we did it. <laughs> Nothing makes a mammal run to the hills like a nice pair of sharp claws. Sorry, puppers. Oh, we finally Greetings, made it Rasta inside. Woman. Hey, how you get past Rufus? Um, I gave him a treat. We're friends now. <laughs> He likes to fleas in his fur more than he likes you, Buona. Wow. I don't believe you for a second. Wow. 
We got stuff. We got in. All right, maybe we can take stuff. Ooh, free money. Buona, don't you dare touch my life savings. I be saving them up for something real special. Oh man, I was hoping for some free money. <laughs> in no such thing, Buona. Sorry. Makina? Yeah, man? Can I borrow this wheel of yours? Sure, man. Let me guess. You're somehow gonna fix your airplane with it. Good call. Hmm. Wise minds think alike. Oh! Oh, we got- we got the steering wheel. Or the yoke, or whatever it's called. It says Rufus! Hey, wait a minute, lady! I thought that was a dishwasher, not no doghouse! Relax, man. <laughs> Rufus does fine, shut your hole. And, uh, don't tell my customers, okay? <gasps> Okay, I bet you she wants the chilies. I think I'll keep it. Really? Looks like Makina's out of coffee. Yeah, I'll put some more on if a customer asks for it. What if I ask for it? Nice try, Buona. We aren't paying customers. Hola, Makina! Hey, dear Buona. What brings you to my fine kitchen? Well, I just... Took your steering wheel. How's the stew tonight? Too expensive for you, that's how it is. Oh, that burns, lady. How's business? Ha! Since when you interested in business, Buona, you run that charter of yours like a donkey flies a kite. Oh, insulting me, eh? As a matter of fact, I have a big, big client on the hook this very moment. Gonna make some big money charter in the plane. Money, money, money. Money you owe the power company. Is that right? Kito tell you that? Yeah. Yep. He <laughs> said you two were in a bit of a tight spot. No worries, lady. We got it covered. Oops. I hope so, Buona. If you get that old plane of yours airborne, it will be a miracle. Be careful, okay? What you saving for? I telling you, Bonaman. One day, I'm opening up big time in the city. What? Oh. You don't like it here in the Bay? I like it, Bona, but I want to make it big. Besides, how's my gourmet cooking ever gonna come to rights when the only people I'm serving is drunken sailors? Ah, you got a point there, Rasta woman. Rasta woman. Alright. She wasn't... Later, lady. See you around, Buona. I still feel like we need those chilies for her stew. Can I taste some? Keep your greasy paws off, my stew, man. Pointless. Yet satisfied. The fishing pole is fine the way it is. No modifications required. Don't we need bait in order to get a fish? I don't think it's just gonna... I don't think we're gonna catch anything that way. Hey, I got a muddy ugly! Okay! Alright. There's something special about sticking a cold, wet fish in your pocket. <laughs> oh yeah. I want to try sticking a cold white fish in my pocket. <laughs> Ew, that sounds gross. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's the most amazing thing ever. All right, you little pelican. That won't help. Here you go. Here, yeah, buddy. Oh yes, look at that animation. Good. Sort of feels like a waste, doesn't it? It was, huh? That's granny old forklip. Huh. I guess we need another fish. I thought that was it. Okay. Hey, I got a muddy ugly! 
Maybe we Ooh. put the chilies with the There's fish. There's something special about sticking a cold, wet fish in your pocket. Oh, baby. Let me try it. <laughs> I'm not so sure Makina would approve of my cooking, but okay. Oh. Hmm. I bet it's a lot tastier now. Hey, there's still some left. Might come in handy. All right, Pelican. Let us see if we have outsmarted you. For useless stuff that we're somehow going to use to fix the airplane. This ought to be interesting. Let's see how Birdie likes some spice. <laughs> oh, did we kill it? Uh... That's not really what I thought was going to happen. Oh, did we kill it? How oh, sweet, man. It's peacefully asleep. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, there's something sparkly shining in that nest. Let's see if we can get it. It's rusted stuck. You're killing me. I can't me. so much as nudge it with my bare hands. Man, nothing works. Maybe this will do the trick. Good old wrench to the rescue. There we go, man. I'm sorry, Pelican. Hey, there's a metal rod in here. I'll take it. I'm sure Mr. Sleepy Bird won't mind. Maybe we should fix that. I think I'll keep it going. <laughs> what a dick. That scrawny old forklift hasn't worked in years. Okay. I have a feeling that this is what it is. Fits perfectly. Buana, are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh hey, yeah, I know absolutely. my avionications. It's gonna work like crazy, I swear. Avionications? Oh boy, this is gonna be sweet. You're certain that's going to work now, Buana? Sure thing, lady. No worries. Steering wheel? Check. Wow. Hmm. Hey, I fixed us a yoke, man. Ho ho ho! Good on ya, Buana. Oh yeah, see, it's missing here. What a beauty! I wonder if we'll ever get her flying. Maybe we can use the net. It sounds crazy. I guess we don't have the net anymore. Man, I wonder where I get all these stupid ideas. Oh, we, hey, we got it. it. <laughs> oh man, it must have snapped when I landed. No. I guess we're gonna have to find some way to put it back together. Yeah, because that is really sturdy and aerodynamic. That needs no wrenching. Maybe we missed something here. Nice candles. We used to have them lit all the time back in the day when Count Nandodo was around. Bad books. Books? Lots of old books on language and mythology. No need for them now. Bed? Paintbrush. What the heck? So that's where we hid our paintbrush. Oh my god, I missed it. It's full to the brim with moth eaten clothes. Yuck! Hey, here's a shirt that stayed more or less intact. Looks like it fits me too. I'll keep it. All right, is there anything else? There's nothing. Okay. Well, we have a shirt and now we have white paint. So I have a feeling we can paint the shirt white with stripes. Let's dip it white. Yeah, but we don't have a there hat. There we go, man. 
That should stick nice to the insides of my pockets. <laughs> yeah, dried paint would probably not be great. Hey, now it looks just like one of those nerdy sailor suits. Okay, so maybe we can get the password now. Oh, okay. I mean, we're missing a hat and a bunch of stuff. What you think about this man? So you are the new deckhand after all. I sure am. Password. Well, I'm glad to be of help, sailor. The password to get on board is fear the hungries. <laughs> fear I know the what hungries. it's like to forget the password. I'm Has hungry happened to right me now. and me mate more than once, I can tell you. Good thing you'll have shipmates who can fill you in when you're on the fluff. Good thing, man. See you uh, on board. <laughs> okay, so I think we finally have something. Yay. Let's go and tell this guy the password. Doc Master. Oh, again, sailor. It's boarding time for this deckhand. If you're a deckhand, I'll need the password. I finally remembered the password. Okay, let's hear it, lad. Fear the hungries. <laughs> I knew you had it in you, son. Could see it in your eye, I could. Got the spirit of an adventure and sailor you have. Welcome aboard, lad. My sailing oh, bone is and let me tingling. See your <laughs> yeah, man. Oh boy, this needs some fixing up, I fear. I'll see what I can do with it. Meanwhile, here's a mop to get you started. Oh, a mop. We're gonna go mop the floors. No reason to keep the deck unwashed simply because it isn't being used. Gee, thanks. See you later, man. Hi, may the four winds fill your sail. May the force be with you. Hey, that yacht has got to have a nice pair of engines we can borrow. <laughs> if only I could find a way to get out there. He wants to steal those engines. Okay. All right, let's see if we can weld the propeller. This guy over here is doing something. That's a good idea, man. But I need something to mount it on. Mount it on? Quit messing with my equipment, okay? Fine. I think these switches control the crane. Maybe I can make it align over the pool in the boat. That way, getting over to the yacht will be a piece of cake, man. That makes sense. Oops, too far. Hmm, tricky. I think there's some form of system to this. These buttons make no sense. Ah! Okay. So I hate puzzles. Maybe down. I Bollocks. hate puzzles. <laughs> Screw this, man. Oh, we just had a hit. There we go, man. A little <laughs> bit of love and violence did the trick. Looks like it's perfectly aligned over the pool. I love it. Loving violence. That's great. All these warning signs tell me I just have to mess with this thing. Whatever it is. I don't know. Ah! Oh, that was Bomba. Hopefully we didn't injure her. <laughs> She's all dazed from the flash. So maybe we need one of these. Uh, hmm. Can we do this now? 
Okay. What just happened? So she should be able to weld now. Yeah, hey, she did it. You tricked me into welding this thing, didn't you? Yeah, what? we did. Who? Me? Yeah, you. I'll just take the damn thing and let me get back to work, okay? Success. We have a propeller. I guess we just give it to Keto. Hey, buddy. See if you can figure out how to mount this baby. Ho, ho, ho. Good on ya, Buana. Let's see. This shouldn't be too tricky. Ta-da! Gorgeous! Well done, man! I'll go and yeah. get the rest of the parts. Alright guys, I'm just gonna leave it here right now. We finally got the propeller and we got the steering wheel. So we're missing one other part and then we can go and fly the airplane. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, push that like button. Subscribe if you want to see any more games that I play. And then hit that notification bell because I love Journey Down. I hope you guys are loving it too and I want to continue playing it for you guys. All right, if you guys want to chill with me on Twitch, then that would be cool too. I love you guys. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.